Hi, this is Abdullah Samir with my newly founded X Moose News series. The latest news is that a doctor in the UK may be forced out of his job for asking a niqabi lady to take off her niqab. What is the niqab? Niqab is a cloth that covers most of the face, leaving only the eyes. Most people do not consider it a requirement of Islam. Most people, most Muslims, consider it something optional, but something better to do, a more pious clothing item for women. The problem with the niqab is it encourages extreme separation. It's a barrier to integration, it's a barrier to communication, and, and that's what it's meant to be. It's there to keep men and women extremely separated. With the niqab, most of the subtle communication cues are gone. You can't tell whether the person is actually smiling or angry. You can kind of tell, but it's pretty difficult. So, and on top of it, it's actually much harder to understand what I'm saying when my face is covered with a big cloth. So you can see this is, these are some of the issues with niqab. Of course, men don't have this issue. It's always women, right? Imagine you're speaking to a Muslim woman, she doesn't speak good English, maybe she does, maybe she doesn't, but she has an accent and on top of that her face is covered. That would make it just even more difficult to understand what's going on and would hamper communication. According to Dr. Warwilson, he asked her to remove the niqab and she did without any complaints. And then 30 minutes later her husband arrived and then complaints were made. According to the story, he refused to treat her daughter unless she would take off her niqab because he complained of being able to understand what she was saying. If they were offended or angry for being told that, you know, to take off the niqab, then, you know, this was a perfect way to get revenge on the doctor who basically maybe was seen as racist or rude. I think from his perspective, it's prerogative to make sure that you treat patients fairly and you understand what is being said so you don't misdiagnose or cause a worse problem. If he had asked her to remove a non-religious piece of clothing, there probably wouldn't have been any issue. For example, you know, if he told her to take off her shoes or something like that, or if she was in a Muslim country and she had a Muslim doctor telling her the same thing, there would have been no problem. It's because he was a white guy, a non-Muslim, who asked her to take off the niqab. I don't necessarily think he should be expected to bow to their religious expectations. If she felt uncomfortable or if she didn't want to take off the niqab, by all means she could have said no and she could have ended the doctor visit and gone to another doctor. I think that would have been the end of it and that, that's it. There's no need to continue this whole issue. Being the service provider, he should, be, he should have the right to decide who he wants to treat and on what basis. We don't know the exact details. I haven't been able to find her version of events, an interview with her or you know, exactly what happened from her perspective. What did the doctor actually say to her? He's saying he politely asked her to remove the whale. But there was no one else in the room and maybe he said something like, Take off that garbage bag, you filthy Muslim. Who knows, right? We don't know the exact things that he said as nobody else was there. There needs to be substantial evidence for Dr. Wolverson to lose his job. If he was actually rude and threatening his patients simply for, you know, thinking less of her, for her background, for her religious identity, or for what he felt she represented, this is wrong. It's not right to treat someone differently because of their religion or their religious beliefs. We have to treat everyone fairly. When my wife wore the niqab many, many, many years ago, just for about a month or so, she got a lot of abuse in the short time she wore it. She had cans thrown at her. She had abuses and insults thrown at her here in Canada. The, the niqab brings out quite a nasty reaction from the worst of us, it seems. Little did these guys know that this, the very person they were insulting was a white lady who not just grew up in Canada, but was one of them. She was born and bred Canadian, yet she was receiving the worst and nastiest insults like, get out of the country and whatever. I don't even know exactly what they said, but including having things thrown at her car just because she had her face covered, right? So obviously this is not right. If Dr. Wolverson was actually guilty of racist abuse and was treating her differently simply because she wore the niqab, this would be wrong. If this is another example of Muslims playing victim yet again, then this is wrong. 
Thanks for watching. I need your help. If you can afford to support me, please check out my support page at abdullahsamir.com slash support. I am ever grateful to everyone who has continued to fund me and is helping me to be able to do this thing full time. This is Abdullah Samir of X Moose News signing out. Don't forget to subscribe.